Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing, and today we're checking out the Commandante C40 MK3 Nitro Blade. This is a handcrafted, German-made, premium coffee hand grinder that uses very unique materials in crafting a grinder that has some serious style about it and also follows that up with some precise and accurate grinding performance. The Commandante weighs just under 650 grams and it uses stainless steel on the crank handle and the main body of the grinder with hardened plastics for the lid and support brackets on the inside of the grinder. There's a smooth oak wood pommel and the veneer wrap to the outside of the Commandante giving it that beautiful wooden look. And each of these grinders uses two glass grinds catches that come in the box, one clear and one amber. Now it can grind up to 35 grams of beans at a time and would make the ideal grinder for all coffee occasions as it's designed to be accurate and precise and also being large enough it can compete against some of the smaller electrical home grinders yet compact you can place it easily in your bag and travel with. Now there's loads of different styles of Commandante to choose from but the Wenge veneer is by far the most popular model the one that you see here and if you do want to shop the other full range of Commandante grinders you can follow this link up above. Taking a look down through the grinder, we have a handle and lid combo with the pommel. It's quite a nice size. It makes transferring your energy through the grinder really easy. It's quite comfortable to grip onto as well. There's the clear lid, and this helps prevent any popcorning or bouncing out whilst you're grinding those beans. And this all attaches to the axle really securely, nice and tight, so there's no chance of it slipping off through the rotation of the handle. Now when loading beans into the grinder, you do want to cup the body at the top, kind of making a funnel with your hand, as those inner support brackets are fairly high up and they can occasionally cause bounce out of beans. Now there's something magnetic and alluring about the feel of the veneer wood when you hold onto the body of the Commandante. And although it is extremely solid, that wood finish does seem to soften up the touch quite nicely and it helps to grip onto, sort of acting as some sort of anti-slipping. Now the Commandante uses a steel drive axle and two steel ball bearings that drive the burrs, making a really smooth and wobble-free grinding action. Impressively quiet, those burrs feel naturally well aligned. Commandante uses conical 39mm high nitrogen steel burrs, which is an extremely tough material and wears very slowly, along with the fact there is a high degree of edge retention, meaning that they're going to stay sharper for much longer than your standard grinder burrs do. Further to this, the specific geometry or the shape of the burrs is something Commandante are very proud of. With loads of research and development that have gone into this burr set, it really places the Commandante far ahead of many other premium quality hand grinders based solely on the burrs themselves. Now when changing the grind settings with the Commandante, you're going to want to remove the grind catcher, but keep the crank arm on to steady the axle and you find the dial underneath the burr set and then you just need to change this left or right depending on how coarse or fine you want to go. There's also a diagram available on this burr set to let you know which way is for finer and which way is for coarser. Now the Commandante is a stepped grinder and whilst this may be seen as a handicap, the 12 steps per rotation of the dial give you plenty of options for dialing in the perfect recipe and it will grind for any brew method, from Turkish coffee at five clicks or under, to espresso around seven or 10 clicks. I found mocha pot is around 15 clicks, and if you're using say an AeroPress or Delta Press, or pour overs like the V60 or Chemex, your range is gonna be somewhere between 18 and 28. And the French press or cold brewing from around 30 clicks onwards. Now the Commandante will grind very consistently across all these grind sizes, but it could be said that it is a little bit more difficult to dial in the perfect espresso brew because of those predetermined step settings. And in light of this, Commandante released a Red Clicks upgrade available in the shop link up above here. And what that does is it upgrades your standard Commandante grinder from having 12 clicks per rotation and it bumps it up to 24 clicks per rotation, therefore doubling the settings you have to dial in the perfect espresso. Now, not as much a flaw as it is a hindrance. If you forget which setting you're on, there's no way of really knowing what it's set at. So it's important to know how to find the zero point on your Commandante. To do this, all you need to do is hold your grinder horizontally and keep adjusting fine a couple of clicks at a time, lift the handle, and when it doesn't fall again, that's the zero point. From there, you can count the clicks back up to your preferred setting. 
and the otherwise excellent construction of the Comandante ensures these settings are universal across every one of its grinders. So you're able to share yours and use other grind settings to dial in quicker, tastier coffees. And I've also added the recommended grind settings from Comandante in the description down below. So in demonstration on how the Comandante does perform, I'm gonna grab out an 18 gram dose of lightly roasted coffee, and I'm gonna set my Comandante to around a 27 click. We're gonna time it and see how long it takes. All right, ready to go. Start the timer. Now it's quite smooth to get going and it's not taking any effort to grind through these beans. I'm taking it quite casually. It doesn't feel like there's any slipping going on. Coming to the end of my 18 gram dose and it's done. Quick tap at the bottom, just to get rid of any grinds that might stick up to the bottom. And that was around 35 to 40 seconds right there. Yeah, sweet, pretty happy with that. These glass catches are easier to clean and having two does open up a few options. You could store pre-weighed out doses in both, say if you're traveling away for a weekend and take all your coffee. You could also keep one as your grinds catcher and the other as your dosing cup, as it does fit perfectly to the top of the Comandante, thus avoiding any bounce out. And this brings me to possibly my most favorite thing about the Comandante grinder, and that is that the grinds catcher has the ideal dimension to fit perfectly into most of the brewers that I use, such as the Flare Pro dosing ring, a Bialetti brew basket, or straight into the chamber of an AeroPress. No fuss, no mess. In taking care of your Comandante, it's relatively easy to disassemble to clean and maintain all the parts. And you wanna do it regularly to stop any buildup from coffee oils or fine particles. To do this, all you need to do is dial all the way coarse on the grind adjustment dial. Going as coarse as you can will allow that inner burr set to just drop out. Then slowly remove the axle from the top of the grinder along with the two washers and the little red O-ring. You'll be able to access the inside of the grinder this way, wipe everything down with a dry cloth. You want to ensure it all goes back the right way to ensure proper function. And that's the Comandante C40 MK3 Nitro Blade for you. It's a superior quality hand grinder that consistently performs at what it does best, grinding accurate and precise to craft the very best of your coffee and its flavor experiences. So if you have any questions on the Comandante, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>